welcome to today's show. If we want to know what you want to talk about in the show, here's how to get in touch. You can email us, elaine at virginmedia.ie. Follow us on facebook.com forward slash elainevmtv. Find us on Twitter at elainevmtv. Have your say any way you want. And joining me today on the show, we have travel writer Geraldine O'Callaghan. Hello. Listen, you're not quite a woman if you choose not to have kids or you can't have kids. I have a theory on the selfish comment. So you know how like men might think that, oh, she's selfish if she doesn't want a kid, as Siobhan said. I feel like if you know 100% in your head that your career is the one thing that's more important to you, and if you have a child, it's kind of going to be always second to your career or second to your travels, or the child might be a bit of an inconvenience or be put on the back burner. And I personally think that the most selfish thing you can do is have that child because you're bringing something into the world that you know you're not going, you're not willing to put it your number one priority. And what type of damage is that doing to the child's psyche as it grows older and to the child's, I don't know, sense of self worth or or security or self esteem? So I feel like being um, upfront enough and owning the fact that you don't want the child is actually a very selfless thing to do. Georgie, I mean, how about you? I know you're not. Um very enamoured with the idea of procreating. <laughs> yeah, probably it's a good thing because does the world need another one of me? I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can't have too many yeah. Geraldines in the world. <laughs> I'm only joking. One man couldn't get over what was actually expected of him. According to the mirror, he reveals that the family expected the husband and wife to go into the master bedroom together and they're supposed to consummate the marriage. The <laughs> rest of the family would be standing outside the door waiting to congratulate them. Oh, I think we need to stop calling them a family and, like, could we call them a cult instead? <laughs> it like it's a cult. No? Well, it's very Tudor England, not, not unless you, like, you legally needed to consummate the marriage in order to be legal and there was a load of money involved, like, back in the in ye olden days when titles and princes and kings and stuff were involved but it used to happen back then like people priests used to even like watch around while it was going on just to make sure it was done and the sheets would be displayed and all that sort of lark but that was 500 years ago and um, um, clearly we haven't evolved and this family are still at it oh talk about stage fright imagine <laughs> I'm weak even thinking of it. The actual bed linen is um, cut out and puts on a tapestry on the wall to join <laughs> all the other bits in the master bedroom that has, has been sewn in over the years. But like if they get divorced, do they cut it out again? I um, think like the only thing that that chap needs to be cut in is his loss, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> run, run. Wouldn't you run a mile? You'd run a mile. But like a lot of people, we won't talk specific in-laws here, but like a lot of us over the years have dated people that perhaps their families were a bit stranger than our own. Like I'm very aware that my family's bonkers and I'm, I'm a, a, like we have our, our, our frauds, but some people think their families are perfect and they're blatantly not. There's no such thing as a perfect family. It just, I, I'm pretty sure that the word family is derived from an old greek word for dysfunctional like there's no such thing anybody who thinks that their their family is perfect is deluded so I, I i rest my case but, yeah but we're all great here today now girls wait till you hear this one never mind everyone else because the leprechauns are doing just fine he believes he's ireland's last known leprechaun whisperer I talk to leprechauns. And that the leprechauns are, um, there's only 200 out of them left in the country and his wife doesn't believe in leprechauns either. So it's all a bit of a, a, bit of a funny one there, Ger. Look, um, I just feel like, you know how English people think Irish people are all diddly eye, diddly eye, sure to be sure, give me back me lucky charms and all. I just think he proved to, to them that we are. Oh God, Sarah, do you feel the same? Geraldine, what do you think about this? I mean, I'm thinking any man that jumps out of airplanes for a living has my vote. Like, there's nothing sexier than an adrenaline junkie. And she met him jumping out of an airplane. Oh, can't hide even thinking about it. Did you ever do a yeah. skydive? Yeah, I've done more than one, actually. Were you, were, you yeah. were you strapped to somebody? I was. And actually, I did one I did one in New Zealand, but I actually did one here in Ireland a few years back. And... Um, I wasn't disappointed by who I was strapped to either. 
But the mm. secret to keeping mm. young, yes, they say you're as young as a man you feel, but there's other ways to keep yourself youthful, isn't there, Jar? <laughs> What's your secret? And bear in mind, it's three o'clock in the day. No, you always put me on the spot. I love it. I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm just asking you a simple help, question. Help, help. So you, you know that I've been with the younger man. I've been open about this before. I'd say the same goes for you, Geraldine. Is it work, sleep, and a vodka, vodka cocktail? Do you know what? Definitely not vodka, because me and vodka, we're not friends. We had a call out many years ago when I regurgitated every last milliliter that I had sipped. So, <laughs> me and okay. whiskey good friends over the last few years and actually the man of my dreams is a man an american man named jack daniels never let me down so that's the secret to your youthful look then jack daniels jack daniels and mm, a little bit of botox I, I, I'm more the Botox and the Jack Daniels now. You can email us, Elaine, at virginmedia.ie. Follow us on facebook.com forward slash ElaineVMTV. Find us on Twitter at ElaineVMTV. Have your say any way you want.